Hello world, Geriatric Geek here. How in the heck are you? I hope you're doing great. It's another beautiful morning here in North Las Vegas. We're still in the upper 90s. I think tomorrow we start hitting the hundreds. We'll hit 100 uh, every day from now until uh, probably the end of August. So, uh, time to hook them up and get ready. <laughs> get them air conditioners rolling. So anyway, you guys know already, that's right, this is Dollar Tree Hall number two. Number two for the old geriatric geek, that's right. I went out, found a few other things that I was interested in. Um, kind of kind of did pretty good. Uh, bunch of, there's still a bunch of stuff from last time that I'm noticing, but uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Take what you can get. Enjoy these dollar videos, you know, I mean these dollar titles. I can't get them much cheaper. So anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. I do so appreciate you being here. I really do. So let's start out. Let's see what the heck I've got right off the top. I picked this up just because it was a box, <laughs> in a box. And I like, I like anything animated, especially DC animations. So this is Animal Instincts, Batman Unlimited, not rated, 77 minutes, that's from 2015. Great kids animation here, as far as I'm concerned. And you get a little special exclusive fire bat. Check that out. Check that out, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, I think. We're going to put these... Ooh. So, oh, I wanted to say, I'm sorry about the aspect ratio. I got lazy, and I'm uh, video doing the video on my old iPad, which doesn't do high def. But, uh, you know, I'm going to get this video out today, rather than uh, take three and a half, four hours for the uh, regular high def one to, to process. So, I wanted to get this one out, you know. So, a little squished. We're still good. Next up, we have... That's right, we got old Paul Walker and David Bell in Brick Mansions. Brick Mansions. 2014, PG 13, one hour and 30 minutes long. So basically, what I, I've never seen this one. It's got a digital code also, that's cool. Uh, Paul Walker. Takes it to the limit in this gritty thrill ride packed with high-flying parkour stunts. Okay, cool. I like parkour. All right. Undercover cop. Oh, man. So their, their compound, their criminal compound, is in these big old deserted mansions, evidently. So there you go. Brick mansions. Looks like fun to me. Next up, James Brolin, Margot Kidder, Rod Steiger. Can you guess? That's right, it's a Blu ray of The Amityville Horror. This one is from 1979, R rated, an hour and five minutes long. This is based on a true story. And of, course, this, of course, houses have no memories, do they? For George and Kathy Lutz, the Long Island colonial house on the river's edge seemed ideal, but looks can be deceiving. Soon their dream home becomes a hellish nightmare as the walls begin to drip blood and satanic forces haunt them with sheer unbridled evil. Good little movie. Um, be honest with you, I did not have this on uh, Blu-ray, so glad to have it on Blu-ray. All right, something else I like, Stan Lee. You guys like Stan Lee? If you don't, why not? I mean, you know, he was the man, right? Stan Lee and Kevin Smith. Save the world. So basically, this has got uh, the ultimate collection with the superheroes of superheroes. An Evening with Kevin Smith, which is three hours and 44 minutes long, from 2002. An Evening with Kevin Smith 2, Eve, Evening Harder, from 2006, and Stan Lee's Mutants, Monsters, and Marvels, from 2002. 
I didn't have this one, so I'm glad to pick this up. I love anything Stan Lee. Oh, and I just noticed it's Mill Creek. Put that out. So, all right, glad to have that one. And speaking of Stan Lee, I just picked up something. Let me grab that. You guys might be able to see it. Let's check that out. Legend series Stan Lee recently came out. Look at that. is the man the myth the legend all right so next up I had Daniel Craig in it so I picked it up it's a BBC thing called Copenhagen it also has another thing in called Fleming the man who would be bond <clears throat> Copenhagen 2014 not rated an hour and 38 minutes Adventure, romance, it gets really good reviews. Um, I did do a little in a investigation on this one. Huh. There you go. I have no idea what this is about, but uh, hey, Daniel Craig's in it. I'll check it out. Looked interesting. Now, I, I have gotten this one before. I'm positive from Dollar Tree because I think I gave it to uh, my uh, cousin. But uh, Astral. So I, I didn't have it. I had given it away. But uh, glad to get it back. 2018, a recent film. An hour and 23 minutes. Gets terrible reviews. It's an, you know, I believe it's an English film. Not rated. From Vertical Entertainment. Alex, a young metaphysics student, discovers the scientific premise of astral projection, the ability to project your spirit into an unseen dimension. Following the untimely death of his mother, he attempts to reconnect only to find himself besieged by malviolent entities from his, this newly opened dimension. Well, sounds good to me. I've never, wanted, like I said, I've given away my copy, so I'm glad to have another. Seven Guardians of the Tomb. Seven Guardians of the Tomb. Know nothing about that. Looks interesting. Revolves around a team of scientists made up of Jia, Li Bingbing, Bing Bing, While they were making discovery of the century, they are also in search for a lost co colleague in an ancient labyrinth. Before it's too late, the group must battle their way through a swarm of deadly man-eating funnel web spiders and find out what is behind the arachnids' power and intelligence used to protect a secret powerful elixir. Wow, that's intense there. <laughs> Can't wait to check that one out. All right, a little music here. A Music Cares tribute to... Paul McCartney. Glad to have this one. I saw other folks got this and I was glad to find it. I do like Paul McCartney and love the Beatles. 2012, not rated, one hour long. This was done in 2012 in LA. February 10th in 2012 to be honored. He was honored at the 2012 Music Cares Person of the Year, a gala event in Los Angeles. Glad to have that. You, you, I maybe would believe, but I've never seen this, so I thought, what the heck, it's on Blu-ray, I'll get it. I, I've seen it millions of times in thrift stores and never picked it up, but found it, you know, it's brand new, factory sealed. So, glad to have this. I'm going to check this out. 2002, PG-13. An hour and 34 minutes. Of course, with Michael Myers and Beyonce. Going back into 1975 and rescue his suave spy dad from the scheme of Shh, Dr. Evil. I'm sure many people have seen this one. Let me know down below if you enjoyed it. Lots of folks do. Let's see. Uh, 
Transonance with Johnny Depp. Should he or shouldn't he? 2014, PG-13, an hour and 59 minutes, an action drama. Leader in the world of artil artificial intelligence, working to create a sentient machine that combines mankind's collective intelligence with true human emotion. Anti-technology extremists will kill to stop him. Hmm. There you go. Never seen this one. Glad to have it. Now this one, I, <laughs> kind of funny. I just just picked this one up in uh, DVD um, from Walmart for three seventy four or something from their their dump bin. And then of course this comes up a dollar on Blu-ray. Warning shot. This is like I said an upgrade from DVD to Blu-ray. R-rated, an hour and 30 minutes, drama, thriller, from 2018. Basically, these folks inherit a, fa a, f inherit a farm house, and of course, that doesn't go well. They should, people should just stay the heck away from those inherited houses. That's, that's my, my point. And uh, who knows why I got this one, but it's a comedy called Search Party. I, let's see, an hour and 33 minutes comedy. It gets, uh, you know, this gets mediocre reviews, but uh, it's R-rated, huh? R-rated, hour and 33 minutes. The writing on this is way too small for me to read. I hate when they do that. Anyway, let me know if this is any good, guys. If you've seen it, kind of looks funny. Has a chance to be funny. We'll see. And on Blu-ray, I, I believe I've seen this, Earthquake from 1974. Of course, it's PG-rated. This is, takes place in L.A. with Charlton Heston. I don't remember it, but I'm pretty sure I've seen it. Glad to have it. And for a buck, I'll re-watch it. Watch all them earthquakes rattle L.A. Alright, next up we have something I already had on DVD, but uh, this is an upgrade. The Gallows, R-rated, 2015, an hour and 21 minutes. You know, it's this is not that great a film, as far in my opinion, but it does have some pretty good jump scares. If you haven't seen it, you like jump scares, uh, this is the movie to watch. The Gallows. Next up, this just looked creepy as heck to me, and that's why I picked it up. I like, you know, like my horror. Inside. Not rated. Horror, of course, 2016. An hour and 29 minutes. Right up my alley. Sarah, a young mother-to-be, is secretly widowed in a shattering car crash, recently widowed, in a shattering car crash that left her partially deaf and forced with forced the premature birth of her newborn baby. Having just moved back home and in unfamiliar surroundings, she can barely stay afloat. As night descends on her deserted suburban street, a menacing, unwelcome visitor arrives at her doorstep. Oh. If, you've not, if you've seen this one, let me know. Is it any good? Looks pretty creepy to me. I like creepy. <laughs> I do. Alright, next. DC Universe original movie, Batman. Bad Blood. Another one of those I had to pick up because it's DC and it's animation. My grandkids love these things. 2016, PG-13, an hour and 12 minutes. Batwoman even makes an appearance in this one. Great animated Batman story. Good for the whole family. Here's the back. Next up, a masterpiece called The Assassin. 
not rated, 106 minutes long, 2015, from Wellgo, USA. It's the most rapturous martial arts film ever made. There you go. Taiwanese director. Return to the screen tells the story of a general's daughter kidnapped as a child and trained to be a nun in the deadly arts. Sounds like fun. If you've seen this one, let me know if it's any good. Next up, Hollow in the Land. Hollow in the Land. Not rated, an hour and 39 minutes. 2017. From Vertical Entertainment. Diana Agron, Sean Ashmore, and Rachelle Lefevre. Small Town Deadly Secrets. With her father in jail and her mother absent, Allison Miller is the matriarch of the family watching over her only sibling, Brandon. Hmm. I'm sure there are trials and tribulations related. There you go. If you've seen that one, let me know. Hey, I was happy to get this. The official first season of The Lucy Show. The Lucy Show. First season. Of course, this was developed by Lucille Ball as the follow-up to I Love Lucy. Who didn't love all that? There's 12 hours and 53 minutes on this. Four disc set, not rated. The Lucy Show is pure sitcom magic and the entire official first season is now available. I, I loved I love uh, the Lucy show and I love Lucy so glad to have that one and this one I've seen around many many times I just never had it. it has a digital code with it so I thought what the heck Abraham Lincoln vampire hunter 3d R rated 2012 an hour and 45 minutes who is this produced by oh yeah Tim Burton produced this Thriller from filmmakers Tim Burton. Included in this release is the exclusive graphic novel prequel about the origins of vampires in America. A featurette about the axe fighting choreo choreography and much more. Abraham Lincoln becomes history's greatest hunter of the undead as he sets out to pulverize the bloodthirsty killers one by one. If you've seen that one, let me know. Is it any good? I've avoided it until now for some reason. All right, next we have a Peter Ho Sun Chan film called The Warlords. The Warlords. R rated, 2010, an hour and 53 minutes. This is a magnet release. I do like magnet releases. This is set in the 1860s. I do love these. I like watching these. So if you've seen the Warlords, let me know. Is it any good? I saw this last time and uh, Dollar Tree had a and I didn't get it and I thought, you know what, this time I'm gonna get it. It's a BBC SSGB. 300 minutes long. So I think this is a series in this espionage thriller series based on, yeah, Based on a no Nazis win the Battle of Britain. Ah, Churchill is presumed executed. Englishmen are deported to work in German factories. Wow, oh, sounds interesting. Let me know, guys. Is it any good? Yeah, absolutely gripping. I picked up another copy of this. Cal Penn, the girl in the photographs. This is the second one I've had of this. I, uh, this is R-rated, 2015. An hour and 35 minutes. This is Wes Craven's last film before he died. And for that reason alone, I picked up a copy for my cousin. Final film, a small town store clerk, Colleen. I have a sister named Colleen, is eager to escape her tedious existence and annoying boyfriend. Then gruesome photos of murdered women start appearing. Is there a serial killer in town or just a prankster with a sick sense of humor? We shall find out. 
I haven't watched it yet, but I do have it. And picked up another copy of this. Uh, this is for my my cousin. That's right. That's right. Breaking Dawn, 115 minutes long, part two of the series, 2012, PG-13. A vampire movie. I've never watched any of this series yet, but uh, one of these days I'm going to have all the Blu-rays and I can watch them. And the last two things I picked up just because I've never seen them have that, this before. So I'm going to give these away to a buddy of mine, but uh, at least this one. Uh, I do have an Xbox One, so I'll probably keep this one here, but games. Shadow of War. Middle Earth Shadow of War. This one's 4K Ultra HD on this one. That's the Xbox One version. But uh, I just thought it was really cool. They had dollar video games, so uh, the old boy picked them up. All right, there you go. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed my little short video of my Dollar Tree uh, pickups. Last, I'm not going to harass Dollar Tree anymore for the next couple weeks. <laughs> we'll wait until the next group comes out. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching. Give this uh, video a thumbs up and subscribe because you never know when I'm going to give something away. You just never know. Like right now, I'm going to give away, that's right, I'm going to give away a digital code to a movie to anybody that wants. No. I'm going to make it for subscribers only, not just to anybody. Subscribers only. This is um, The Nutcracker and the Four Realms, I do believe. The Nutcracker and the Four Realms. The first one to ask for The Nutcracker and the Four Realms, specifically in the comments below, will get it. From the old Geriatric Geek. I'll leave a comment in your comment, and uh, you can email me, and uh, I'll, get, I'll get that right over to you. So, again, thanks so much for watching. Keep having fun. Keep smiling. Until next time. Peace.